All right, everybody, it's time. It's grand finals time between Snipe and Ibar. Uh, this is uh, a match we've seen before, but not a grand finals match. Certainly not. Uh, they did apparently, according to John, are, are apparently a resident historian of the monthly checkup, as it turns out. Uh, he uh, uh, they, he did play against uh, Snipe in round two losers in the April tournament, and Snipe took it as a clean 3-0. Uh, we're going to have to see if he can repeat that. I, people in this community have been making progress so fast that three months feels like an eternity, so who knows? I'm sure Ivar has gotten much better since then. Um, well, I wouldn't count anyone out here. We're just gonna have to see what happens. Um, Ibar is gonna need two games in order to take, uh, two matches rather, in order to take this out, coming from the loser's side. Um, and, uh, it's, it's gonna be a marathon for him. We're gonna have to see if he can do it, All right, Betty. Mm hmm And, you know, Ibar has been playing lights out. Uh, he's just progressively gotten better through this tournament, taking out harder and harder opponents. And so, you know, if he keeps that momentum going, um, you know, Snipe should be scared. But then Snipe is, you know, a beast in, in his own right. And I, I'm looking forward to this match. Absolutely. He's certainly proven to, that he isn't unbeatable, so anything could happen here. These two are going to get started in just a moment. I would assume. Uh, <laughs> I know. I have I given like... them the signal. I saw it move. To, they moved to level 14. Uh, there might just be, we just need a moment here, but uh, we'll see. I'll give them a moment here to get started. The tension is building. I don't. I can hardly wait for this to get going. Okay, I think there's the countdown is beginning. There we go. And yep. we are off. Wow, Ibar almost playing at a faster pace than Snipe is right off the hop. That's impressive yeah, and, to see. And identical moves as well. Oh wow, getting a wow. quick double on him early, but Snipe will yeah. get the perfect kills to counter that. Taking a safety move on the right side. I feel like that's a move we don't see enough from players. And a little bit of trash that does help Snipe bring down a possible combo. Um, but he probably really wanted to take that. Oh, and a combo possibility getting blocked by Ivar too. Wow, unfortunately Ivar will combo himself there. Yeah, Snipe's really kicking it in. I think he maybe needed a second to warm up, but now he's playing at full speed. Wow, puts the red at the top right to make a combo opportunity at the earliest possible time. These are the kinds of moves that, you know, the best players in the game are making. You can, you, when you see it, you just know, you know? Oh, maybe... Okay, luckily, uh, gets out of that misdrop he made with an opportune double blue. Um, and, uh, wow, yeah, he's looking very... Look, he's, uh, in a great spot here. Yeah, and Ivar definitely trying to... Wow, he, he made something out of that, but now he's kind of blocked out. He needs this blue to clear in column two, so it will drop down these reds, but he's leaving them there and maneuvering around it, which he, he's doing gr a great job doing so, but it, it's, it's risky. Yeah, and now his columns one and two are completely filled, and the snipe is looking... Uh, relatively speaking, very, very clean. Almost like a mini umbrella for Ivar, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> unintentional, I, I would believe, but... Oh, I don't know if I would... He's maneuvering between three columns right now, and it's only a matter of time unless he can get under this somehow. So I think what's probably happening here is that... Um... Ibar is sort of getting punished for maybe going for some of the more grandiose setups that he's been doing in the previous matches Look at that this we've seen. Though. Yes. And I think that what he's going to have to do to adapt here is just sort of come to the conclusion that you cannot do that kind of thing against a player at the level of Snipe. Um, mm -hmm. You really have to play fundamentally, you have to play soundly, because if you don't, uh, Snipe is going to punish you for it. I completely agree. And that's that's almost uh, you know you, you learn that what, where you know getting a ton of combos and and setting up all these combos these huge drops are great and they look nice but at the detriment of letting your opponent just run away with it and um, you know if if they're good enough even topping you out because of it. 
Yeah, sometimes you have to choose whether you want to win or you want to look cool. That's just and the unfortunate nature of the beast. <laughs> Sometimes I choose look cool, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, Ness, um, uh, Ibar, it's hard to imagine a comeback from a spot like this. He's right at the top of the board. He's very much run out of room. He is doing his best to stay alive, but he's not going to be able to do much to put any more garbage in Snipe's way at this raid. This is almost a little stunning after the, the match that we just saw to see wow. how far this is going in Snipe's favor here, but Ibar's making a show of it. I think he's chosen to look cool at this point, and uh, yeah. he certainly does, but that is going to be game one to Snipe. Both players going to find a combo roughly the same timing. Oh, nice, nice setup from Ibar. I like this to get the drop. He now has a blue horizontal setup that the garbage will take. He definitely did have to build up higher on his board in order to even get that set up. So that is that, that give and take of, you know, hey, yes, I know I need to make combos to slow down my opponent, but um, you're also building up your board and now you're going to have to make more empty uh, clears to get down. Mm -hmm. That center was looking so dangerous for so long and he, made, he was able to clear it out just in time. Oh, he tries to set everything up on the right side to do a drop and he just cannot get it over. Unfortunately, you just cannot use all the, the fancy movement tricks to the right side. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is certainly not uh, going quite the same as the first game did. Snipe is definitely getting some garbage buildup on his, his right side here, so not looking as clean as he did in game one. Certainly not uh, getting the kind of crushing lead that he was showing the first time around. I like that delay of a combo on Ivar's side in order to get a T set up. And... Oh, I like this too. I would have probably played that a little bit different, but again, it didn't matter. He got a drop clear into an L, um, and it's putting putting the trash back on Snipe's side. Mm -hmm. and things are not looking so great for Snipe anymore. Uh, things have really started to fester from his right to his center, and he's going to get some really bad garbage in column four now after that garbage drop. He's going to prioritize knocking that down as soon as humanly possible, I think. Oh, I think he wanted that double red in uh, to make the T clear. Maybe not, but I I really don't think he wanted that where he placed it. No, I, I would agree. I would definitely agree. Uh, I don't know that's... Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. He's going to take find a horizontal. It's not going to take things down just yet, but a uh, blue-red setup now on the right is going to really help bring down column six and seven. He's going to take that combo now. Beautiful. And it sets up for that uh, blue horizontally with a combo if he decides to take it. He does. Definitely does. And suddenly things are, are looking pretty even here uh, after a bit of a tumultuous opening here between the two of these players. But yeah, Ivar still cleaner board at this point, and um... Oh, he wants to drop and he's holding out. What is yep. Snipe holding out for at the top of his board? I don't think he can afford to do that for very long. He didn't want to clear those yellows um, that were stacked up uh, in those columns, and if he would have cleared that down, I, don't, I think it would have probably ruined that. But he still ended up having to do that, and this was a wonderful clear too. Had a great. That he definitely had a spot for that blue in columns two and three, and the yellow just took it away from Snipe here. He's gonna have to find. Look at this! Of, oh, that's beautiful! Yes. Amazing, amazing play. Totally clears up that issue, and he's right back in it. But he is slightly behind. He's gonna have to uh, really turn on the jets here to uh, to start making the push to uh, to get back ahead. And I think he's doing exactly that. He's gonna find mm -hmm. several combos in a row here. He's gonna stun lock Ibar. Suddenly he's looking very high up in the center. He does have some ideas, some combo opportunities, a T possibility. But if the garbage keeps coming, he may not have time to execute. <laughs> A misdrop, it looks like, from Snipe in column 6 and 5. That might uh, prove to be an opportunity here for Ibar if the garbage falls in the right place. Doesn't really block off anything too critical, uh, and uh, Snipe is just going to find more combos. He is just playing this so well, given the way that this started. 
but it is making a messy column five for him and you know you you want to try and protect those column four and five with your life almost because that is where if trash just gets played in the wrong place at the wrong time um it can take you out Perfect. And wow, all of a sudden, Ibar looking very oh, dangerous. No! He is going to get topped out by two garbage pieces in the row in column five, and that's game two to snipe. We're only one crown I away. Looked, yeah, I looked away from his board for like one second, and then it just, it had a, a lot of setups, but nothing was coming to him. So we are now down to the final, I mean, possibly the final match here, unless Ibar can uh, return some of these, um, these combos to snipe. Snipe is finding some amazing combo opportunities to keep the pressure on. Just in, like really complicated finds. Just playing this so well. This is this is championship level play, and he's uh, he can tell he wants it. Yeah, Ivar is able to put down some combos of his own with H. Um, oh, that was not a trip. That was just a uh, single combo. But you know that slowed Snipe down a little bit. But Snipe right back to it. Oh, this is an interesting setup in the, in the center. If he gets covered before he can execute this combo, that's going to be really bad. So he's prioritizing it right now. Yeah, he's I just think. Gonna clear out column five for the sake of safety. I completely agree. You don't want to throw this away at this point in time. You're one game away. It really is. A, I think Ibar is just over comboing and over over setting up like. He's doing overkill, and he just needs to go for simple, uh, simple combos, simple setups in order to try and get some momentum here on his side. And honestly, I mean, when you're playing against players that are closer to your skill level or below your skill level, and you do things like that and it works out, it feels really good. It feels like you're making the right choices, but it's not until you play someone like Snipe uh, where it starts to really come back to bite you, and that's when you learn that, oh, maybe this is a little greedy, maybe I can't get away with this. Well, and that's, I, I always tell people this whenever they're playing in Fightcade and they, they're playing with uh, people that they just feel like they can win against. That's not the way to get better, though. That is the way to be complacent with where you're at. And so definitely take whatever, uh, you know, whatever people are out there to play, take those. Play as much as you can and, uh, and, then, and then start <laughs> playing the best and see if you can beat them. That's how you can tell if you're improving. But these these players already know that. They're they're trying their best to maneuver around here. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't say that better myself. Yeah. Uh, things looking pretty even. Ibar making some big strides here in the center of his board. But it uh, looks like Snipe is firing right back with a combo of his own. This is uh, definitely closer to some of the matches we were seeing in the Losers Finals against Luke, mm -hmm. where things are much closer, uh, more contentious, combos sort of evenly going across each, uh, each player's board, um, pretty even on terms of the amount of garbage they're sending to each other. This is definitely looking a lot more competitive for Ibar, and uh, if, he, uh, if he keeps this up, he definitely has a chance to get on the board here. I like this combo from Ibar, dropping that column 8, which he really needed to do. Also having a little bit of a setup um, for possibly clearing those blues, uh, and then the yellows after it, if he can get that yellow out between, be sandwiching it from those blues. But that's going to take some time and effort, so hopefully he's not focusing on it. I know, uh, me personally, those type of things, I end up focusing way too much on I need to get to that yellow and foregoing anything else so I've are not seeming to do that at this point point so that's good <laughs> much more even in this round for sure still even virus count uh, I would say that uh, snipe maybe is a little further ahead in border health but not by much um, both player that could, that could change at any moment here as we often see in versus um, we're just gonna have to see if uh, Ibar can find the path to uh, to get to the end of his board here without uh, well, keeping the, the pressure on, on Snipe. Yeah, and that yellow is exactly what I wanted to see for him. Look at that beautiful combo that was in the works for the past, <laughs> you know, 30 seconds or so. I, I just <laughs> love seeing that come to fruition. <laughs> My brain can rest at peace. 
is starting to turn it on now. His, his pace hasn't broken at all, and I'm starting to see a little hesitation at the buy bar. Uh, he really needs to uh, keep up, keep pace with Snipe if he wants to stay in this. And already we're starting to see things start to take shape for Snipe here. His, his end game he has is getting He has combos closer. everywhere. He has a combo for every piece that, that he needs, and... And that's what you, that's a good position to be in, and and Snipe just waiting, playing a little bit of a waiting game, trying to make sure any trash that Ibar sends over that he's making the most advantageous move for, um, and doing that, Ibar just gave him a combo um, right here, and he, he's just gonna continue to tear down this board. Oh wow! Oh, Looking for the red I yellow. I see something. Looking for the quad, yep. and he gets there. But, uh, I don't know, that may, that may have taken a little too long to set up, but I mean, Ivar is really not that far behind him. It's, it remains to be seen if he can really wait, but it's, it's certainly oh, look looking good now. look at what he has now. going on! And this, this, oh, well, he decides not to do it yet. Sets up an umbrella to protect that yellow horizontal, but now he has no access to it, really. So, he's gonna need to somehow get under that if he still wants to take that yellow at the bottom uh, of his board. I think he's gonna make a combo and expose it right now, and this yellow is gonna come down. Unfortunately, it's Doing not- the Oh, it's gonna- well, it's gonna give him a charity yep. combo. That's wonderful. Uh, he chooses the double that will give him a virus clear in this endgame here, and he's only four viruses away. Uh, Ibar's gotta really get some opportune garbage here, and he needs to do it right now. A lot of drop time on this combo for Ibar is just going to give Snipe more time. That is going to cover column one. That's definitely good for him. Yeah, that is going to give him the opportunity to to build up and, you know, Snipe for going that combo just to maybe get some pills. Like, he's just dropping pills at this cost point. Here. I think we're going to see a quad on Snipe's board yep. falling here in a moment. It's going to cover column one again. Definitely good. And also and blocking off horizontal mm -hmm. opportunities at the bottom. Uh, Snipe is now, I think, just working around that by going horizontally. Continuing to be blocked but by Ibar, though. The longer this goes on, the harder it's going to be for Snipe to get this blue at the very bottom. And Snipe and, and Ibar's rapidly approaching endgame. He could get on the board here. Oh, I think he wow. missed a spin here, unfortunately. And uh, Snipe's going to send a few more combos back his way. Snipe realizing that he uh, could be, um, could a, a crown could be taken from him, and he <laughs> decides he can't have that. Definitely just playing some some combos to slow Ibar down a little bit. And this will and, do and, it, and that yeah. is going to fall into place, and that is going to be 3-0 for Snipe. He is your monthly checkup July champion. Good games to Snipe. Uh, excellent showing for Canada once again. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just, wow. It's it's always impressive to see Snipe do this. No matter how many times I I watch him uh, taking down tournaments like this, it's uh, I I can't I can't wait to. See, I hope he comes back to Columbus this year. As far as I know, he intends to do so. Um, and I I really uh, I really hope to see it because. This year, like the way that everybody's improved, is going to be incredible. I can't, I can't wait. The, the regionals have been more impressive this year than last year by far. So it's only, only a, ma a matter of time for uh, you know November comes along, and we're going to see. I think it's going to be an amazing tournament. I can't hardly wait. Yeah, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who's out there watching. Like this game is 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 fun in its own right, but it's ten times more fun just seeing you out there cheering the GGs. The, you know, I I enjoy getting to enjoy this with all of you. So thank you for uh, coming to Monthly Checkup with us. And Lev, as always, thank you for letting me commentate. I I would be doing this whether I was in, a, in front of a microphone talking to people or just in my chair screaming at my screen. So thank you so much for <laughs> giving me the opportunity to bring... <laughs> bring some commentary to these matches absolutely well i mean my my plan here is to sort of give you opportunity to train your voice so come next november you don't lose your voice for six months again so that uh just I'm, just tell me not to play killer queen before and i i think we'll, we'll be fine okay well i mean i'm sure they wouldn't mind if you didn't spill drinks all over it so <laughs> i'm sure we can make they, they there'd be no problem with that 
But anyway, uh, we're going to find a raid here. This is an amazing tournament. Um, just a couple of things I want to quickly note before we go. Um, as I mentioned a little earlier, um, VOD reviews are slowing down. I have some things that I've been working on in lieu of that. I kind of just felt like the VOD reviews are getting a little repetitive and, and I'd like to find a better way to go about that. And I have some ideas, but also I thought I might take a break from it to focus on a different project and come back to it at a later time. So if you really miss them that much, please let me know and maybe I'll, I'll cook something up. I'm sure after Hartford comes along, um, I'll probably do, do a VOD review of the finals of that because I always love doing those. Um, and speaking of Hartford, that's coming up next month. Um, there will be one more monthly checkup before Hartford, which is on the weekend of August the 20, uh, the 23rd to the 25th. I believe it's specifically on August 25th that, uh, that that'll be taking place on the DRMC stream. So definitely check that out. But there will be a monthly checkup in August leading up to that weekend on Tuesday, August the 20th. So signups for that will go up um closer to that date but uh mark it on your calendars folks because uh i'm sure that'll be one that people especially people that are going to be in attendance in hartford um are going to be uh hyped to play in and really are prepared for um be a nice little warm-up for them especially certain uh monthly checkup regulars that i have on good authority will be there so stay tuned for that um congratulations to snipe uh again for winning um it's always I great love can we also um, talk about the Virus Buster, uh, the finals of our Virus Buster? I think it's the Extreme Weird League um, is happening on the 28th between, again, two Canadians, Snipe, the one that you just saw win this tournament, and Pan Pan Richard, who's also in chat. So we're really <laughs> looking forward to that matchup as well, uh, you know, just continuing to bring wonderful versus matches to you. And that will be over on the DRMC. Um, oh, on Pan Band's channel. Okay, on Pan Band's channel. And so uh, be on the lookout for that, and we'll see who wins that tournament. Is it going to be a repeat by Snipe, or will Pan Band uh, stop that? <laughs> we'll have to see. But either way, the, the Virus Busters Finals is going to be coming home to Canada, so I can hardly complain. I mean it. I, we're, we're quickly becoming a, a big force in, in the in the tournament scene, and I, I, I fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx it. Canadian Canadian champion next year this year I can only hope but uh maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself let's <laughs> there's still several regionals and monthly checkups to come uh so we will be uh we'll be looking forward to all of those as well and so all of you out there thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it thank you so much Betty for commentating with me I know that you uh appreciate it but I appreciate okay. it more don't fight me on this okay I swear <laughs> I'll win uh <laughs> but it's always a pleasure to have someone in the booth. If there's anyone else out there who's interested in commentary as well, please let me know. I really wanted to make commentary a more regular part of this tournament. Um, and uh, all I really need are people who are willing to commit and step up and, and be in the booth. So if you're interested, let me know. You know, experience is, is uh, um, definitely an asset. But even if you're not a regular, you know, speedrun commentator or haven't really had any experience, just shoot me a DM and let me know you're interested and we'll see what we can do. Uh, other than that, I think that just about wraps it up. Betty, you have anything else to say to the people before we close it out? No, just uh, thank you again for watching. Absolutely. Well, with that, uh, stay tuned. We will be raiding here in just a moment. Um, but until next time, be safe, stay warm, and don't skip out on your monthly checkup, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you next month. Take care, everybody. <laughs>